guys welcome or welcome back so on my channel i've tried this challenge a few ways i've attempted the full 24 hours non-stop of reading and failed which taught me that if there's one thing about me i need my sleep and i also just can't stay up late i'm literally just such a grandma anyway then i try to split it up 12 hours and 12 hours which could work in theory but i have lots to do this week and i really want to do this type of video i think they're fun so for the sake of it i decided to just read over the span of a few days until i hit the 24 hour mark so stay tuned to see how many books and what books i read for these 24 24 hours and how long it takes me to complete the full 24 hours of reading. for about two hours and eight minutes. <laughs> I actually was finishing up a book. That's why I didn't really speak too much, but I was finishing the final offer. I've been reading this for a few days now. It's taking me so long to get through. I had about almost 200 pages, a little under 200 pages left, and I really just wanted to finish this book. It didn't take me so long because it was a bad book. I think just because it was long and it was more in depth and it was more deeper than all the other books, it just like took me a while to get through. Like I wasn't wanting to pick it up, but not in a bad way. I don't really know, but it was really, really good. I think I'm gonna give it a 4.25 because I liked it better than the first two in the series. It's the dream billionaire series but just because it, i feel like it was deeper and it was more real of a story than the first two it wasn't as like rom com -y in a way like there's struggles in this there's like more depth to the relationship in this and i really enjoyed that and i loved all the characters and i love seeing the brothers and the female main characters from the first two in this book and it was really sweet and i love the ending just the beginning took a while to get through because it is a pretty thick book but i did enjoy this so i wanted to finish this up this morning before I start my next book. So I have no books lined up for this video. I'm kind of just gonna mood read my way through this. So I'm gonna go pick my next book and I will let you guys know what it is because I have no idea what I wanna read. I don't know what mood I'm in. So I will be back with the book I will be reading. update i ended up starting frida mcfadden's most recent release i think she's coming out with another book soon but it's called war d frida mcfadden if you don't know is the queen of like psychological thrillers she has so many and i think all of them are on kindle limited too i've read a bunch of hers and i really like her writing and they're just really fast paced it's just like really bingeable book so that's what i wanted and this one's basically about this woman who's studying to be some kind of doctor but she has to stay in this psychiatric ward for 13 hours over a night she's like locked in there as part of like her schooling or whatever so she's in there with another doctor and then like the head doctor and you get present day that's what she is and then you get a past timeline of her situation and i guess life back then but you get both timelines and it's going really fast i'm on page 63 i'm like 20 percent of the way in i'm just gonna be reading this binging this hopefully i get the plot twist this time i don't think i've guessed any of hers i think i've like some of them as they were unfolding i've kind of guessed but she usually gets me really good with the plot twists we will see i'm gonna write down my theories that's usually what i do when i read mysteries and thrillers just so i could see if i got them so i already have one written down which is really fun not a plot twist theory but like a little backstory theory that's all i'm gonna go make a smoothie i'm gonna go read some more my kindle's charging that's why i'm reading on my phone but i'm about to hit three hours of reading so 21 more to go <laughs> i will be back maybe when i finish or with updates i don't know
Okay guys, I just finished Ward D a few minutes ago and I'm sitting between a three and a half and a four because the story was really entertaining. Obviously I read it pretty quick and I was like binging it. I feel like that's just Frida McFadden's writing. Like you can probably go into any of her thrillers or any of her books and finish it super fast and like want to know how it ends. I did guess a few things that were going on. I didn't guess like the one bigger thing, I guess towards the end, but I did guess some of them, but it was an entertaining story being in the main character's point of view and like trying to figure it out with her and then like realizing more things as it was going on. Uh, there were some things that were off about the book. Not my favorite by her. I think my favorite's like Never Lie. Probably that one housemate, obviously, but this one wasn't my favorite. So I'm sitting between a three and a half and a four. I'm not too sure yet. First official book done. I think the next book I want to read is The Grace Year. I don't know why I've been eyeing this down since I've gotten it and since I've seen people talking about it more recently. It's a dystopian novel and they kind of just send out girls on their 16th birthday and they spend like the grace year doing things. I'm not really sure. It says for them to release their magic into the wild so they can return purified and ready for marriage. So I don't know. It sounds interesting. I feel like it'll be a fast YA dystopian type of read. I'm also very intrigued with this. So I'm kind of excited to get into it. So I've gone six hours so far. That's quarter of the way through. I think so. If I know anything about math, I'm gonna start the grace here. I will give you guys updates as it goes on and I'm gonna go sit outside again, I think. Okay, so it's a little bit later. I've been reading for seven hours, 42 minutes, and I've gotten about 75 pages into this book. I knew what to expect going into this. Like I've heard what this book was about and basically a lot of people were comparing it to like Handmaid's Tale, which I've never watched, but I know like the basics and the storyline kind of of that show and what it really is about. And going into this, I didn't really realize how much this book was gonna like give me like an ick, like just an ick reading it because basically the girls in this society, the women is looked down upon and is just less than the men and they are chosen by a boy or a man to be wed after their grace year when they come back like once you're chosen you're owned by that man and you go off into the grace year and you come back and you marry them if you come back because like some people don't come back from the grace year and it's just so icky to read about the men in here it's so gross but i think it was like 20 30 pages into this book and i was like this might not be for me i might dnf it but i, I didn't obviously i'm gonna keep reading it because i know a lot of people that i watch or i I've seen reviews of have good reviews of this book anyway like just the storyline i guess is entertaining but it's just so like not a book i would think i would enjoy anyway though i'm gonna keep reading for a little bit now and then i'll probably pause for dinner and then continue on later i'll probably get to like nine or ten hours today which i think is good i honestly started this video thinking i was just gonna read throughout the week until it all like compiles into 24 hours but i've been reading a lot more today so that's a thumbs up i wasn't really planning to read as much as i have today but i had obviously the time to so this is going a lot faster than i I thought I honestly thought this would take me more days than it probably will but yeah I'm gonna keep reading this I will come back in a bit maybe later and we'll see if I have any updates My timer stopwatch turned off because I fell asleep last night so I had to restart it and I don't remember where I stopped. I think I was around almost 10 hours so this is what I've been doing this morning and I'm so sad because did I stop it in my sleep? Like why is it gone? I don't know but I'm on page 281 of the grace here I've been reading for an hour and a half this morning. This book just feels like a complete fever dream like I literally feel like I'm just reading 
nonsense like i feel like the author just like dreamt this story up but like not in a way how like stories are obviously fiction and fake like this just feels like a complete like i don't know crazy fever dream but it's weird because in the beginning i was like it was so slow and i couldn't get into it now i can't stop like once i hit halfway it was like i couldn't stop reading and now i need to finish it and i need to keep reading it just like took the weirdest turn ever i'm like so confused i think i have like 100 pages left a little over 100 pages left so i'm gonna finish this morning the rest of the book and then yeah we'll pick out the next book to read so if i was reading for an hour and a half this morning and i had around 10 hours i've been going for 11 and a half hours i know math so yeah i'm gonna go keep reading yeah this book is just so different than i thought it was gonna be yeah okay goodbye Okay guys, so I finished the grace here just now. I'm at two hours and 43 minutes this morning. Again, I think I fell asleep at around like almost 10 hours. Like I was about to hit 10 hours and I remember like falling asleep being like, it's fine, I'll start again tomorrow. And I don't know what happened, but I woke up and the stopwatch was, was off and it was at zero. So I was so mad, but I'm just, I started this morning and it said 10. We're just gonna round up a few minutes. So I've been reading for two hours and 43 minutes. So technically 12 hours and 43 minutes. So we have passed the halfway point, which is... Yeah, I finished this this morning. Like I said, middle of this book just felt like a complete and utter fever dream. I think it was just because the mix of what was going on with the grace year and like what these girls were told to know and like what they were going to be experiencing and then what they were actually experiencing within this grace year was very interesting. Took a whole different plot, not plot twist, but different like change of plot throughout like towards the end and I was very intrigued, but it just felt so like random, but like also I couldn't stop reading. I will say I loved the ending of this book. I didn't expect whatever was going on with the end ending but like throughout the book i just like did not know what i was reading i mean i knew what i was reading but it just felt so weird so i think i'm gonna give this three stars it's not a bad book like i did enjoy it for what it was i just don't think it's a book for me like i didn't love it but i would recommend this book if you want to like try it out see if you like it i just for me personally it wasn't my favorite read but it was entertaining and it definitely had some weirdness to it i don't know but yeah i think i need a romance next i have a few options right here that i'm gonna go and look through and then i'm gonna choose which one we're gonna read i have five right here that i've been eyeing down on my bookshelf so i'm gonna go choose one and we will continue reading and continue this little readathon i don't think i'm gonna finish the 24 hours today i definitely won't get all this time in because i have a few things to do today hopefully fingers crossed tomorrow will be the last few hours that we have to get in but i'm gonna go choose my next read and we will see which one it is and i will start the clock and we will continue reading i think i'm gonna go get starbucks though and then we'll continue reading Okay guys, I've been reading Throttled by Lauren Asher. I actually started this one this morning as you guys saw. I didn't know what I wanted to read and I had a few romance options, but this one was just kind of screaming my name. I just really like her writing, but I have thoughts about this one so far. I'm only four hours into today. I realized I had so much more to do than I thought. Yeah, so I started this and I'm about 90 pages in and this is basically like an F1 racing romance series, I think. They're all like interconnected standalones. So you don't have to read this one first, but technically this is the first one in the series. I heard that it's at the third one that everyone loves i forget which one it is but obviously i'm starting with throttled and i don't know i feel like this one, there's like so much talk of the f1 racing and i know that's like the world that the main character maya her brother's in and his new teammate is noah or noah's new teammate is her brother because he's joining the team but it's just so much racing talk that i just do not care like get to the romance get to them talking to each other like i don't know it's just too much racing talk and i feel like getting more into the series maybe when i read the second and the third i'll enjoy the f1 and like all of that world but like i literally don't care and i feel like that's like whenever i read like sports romance of any kind like a football one or hockey romance like i don't care about the actual hockey or the football but it's nice that they're an athlete you know what i mean like cool he's a race car driver and your brother's a race car driver but like, you get noah's point of view and he's the race car driver so you're gonna get a lot of it but even in her point of view it's like so much race car stuff anyway maybe just because i'm not in the f1 world but maybe this will open my eye to it but yeah this is what i'm reading i'm gonna read a bit more and it's just not my favorite yet maybe it'll just pick, have to pick up i'm gonna go keep reading though and we will see how it goes i don't know how i feel yet i just know that it's just a little too much race car driving talk and i don't i don't care it's a personal opinion i just it's not my favorite i'm gonna start the timer again and i just wanted to give you guys an update of where i am today it's already three o'clock and i have barely read let's start and let's keep reading
Okay guys, so I have since realized that Laura Nasher's books, actually I don't know all of them. I'm just saying Throttled is on Kindle Unlimited, which makes me reading at night so much easier and makes me really happy because I love reading on my Kindle in bed. So I've been reading on my Kindle for a bit now. I'm about, I think like five hours in. I'm not doing too great today. Oh, five hours and 36 minutes. I want to get a bit done tonight. It's only 9.45. So I'm going to read for the rest of the night until I fall asleep. And then I want to finish this book in the morning. So right after, I said my little spiel about the F1 racing and how I don't like love the race car talk. The romance did pick up. I always do that. I always have something to say like not negative but like something in the beginning and then I'm like oh I wish it had more of this and if I just keep reading sometimes or most of the time I'll get what I want. Not get what I want but you know what I mean like the romance came right after I complained. But the romance in here I don't know if I'm loving because it's more of like a physical attraction. It's nothing too deep which is also fun and fresh and whatever like I'm not mad about it being a physical connection but like usually the romances I like are like emotional connection first and then whatever after but this one's more of like a attraction on a physical level at first sight you know not mad about it it's entertaining enough so i'm enjoying it but i don't think it's gonna be like one of my fave romances we'll see i don't know but i remember saying that the third was everyone's favorite but i think that's the fourth one which is the last one in the series which means i'm gonna have to read all of them to get to the fourth one because i can't just skip to the fourth i'm gonna have to read the series which shall be fun because i don't i'm so bad at finishing series okay i'm gonna keep reading i'll probably be back sometime tomorrow i don't know ignore my comforter i'm trying out a different pattern right now i don't think this is gonna stay but i'm about to hit 10 hours on this new one which would actually equal about 20 hours so technically we have four hours left i finished throttled this morning i went to a coffee shop read a bit it was actually downpouring all day it just finally like kind of let up a little bit but finished this on my kindle this morning and i gave it three stars it's not that it was bad i don't want people to think when i give books three stars that's a bad book it's just not a favorite of mine like it's not one that i'm gonna like remember but it's one that i would recommend i did enjoy it i liked the story it's not my favorite romance ever but i enjoyed it it was very entertaining it did what it had to do again i didn't love the f1 stuff in the beginning it obviously let up a little bit but not that it was bad but like i don't know it wasn't like interesting to me but three stars was good i enjoyed their story they're not my favorite couple of all time but the story was entertaining enough for me to go through the rest of the series like a three star is not bad it's just like again not my favorite book so yeah, i finished that and then i saw a tiktok yesterday of this girl raving about this series. I think it's a four book series. The series is called The Lachlan Feuds. They're on Kindle Unlimited. So I'm on the first one. It's called Scarlet Princess. I just watched that TikTok and she was like raving about how it's like her newfound favorite enemy to lovers fantasy. It's really quick and all this stuff. She just really sold me on it. So I don't know. I decided to download it. I only have like four hours left of this challenge and I, the book I have about two hours and 40 minutes left. So I probably will finish this and we'll start the last book after. So far so good. I'm about 80 pages in 28% of the way through. It's only like 300 pages, this one. That's fun. We love a short little book. Basically about this princess from a different part of the world gets stuck as a captive in this other part of the world where I think they're like enemies in the world. I don't really know how to explain this. Basically, she's in her enemy land and they caught her and now she's like dealing with the consequences. And apparently the captor is the love interest. I have no idea, but I'm reading it and so far so good. I mean, it's reading fast paced. It got like right into the story. Like there's not much world building going on just yet. You're learning as you go, which I love that. So yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna go take a bath. I'm gonna read more and I'll update you guys as it goes. Probably when I finish this book, honestly. I probably won't have too many updates because I'm just gonna probably read through it. I don't know, we'll see. I'll be back. officially read for 24 hours. I think that I have some kind of like time blindness. Is that what this is? Because I can't understand or process how long genuinely like an hour is or like a 24 hour readathon. Like 24 hours when you say that to me, it's like, oh, like that's easy peasy. Like no, 24 hours is genuinely a long time. But like in my head, I'm like, no, that'll take me like no time. But it took me like three days to read for 24 hours, like cute combined. 
you know what I did. You watched the video. Little mini wrap up of our time here. I read, how many books did I read? I actually have no idea. So I finished one. So we'll count that as a half because I read like almost half of it. Four and a half books and I was able to start a fifth book. I think this is the best I've ever done in a 24 hour challenge. I don't know if it's because I've been reading so much. Not like recently, just like in general, I read so much that I'm getting a little bit faster in my time. I don't know what it is, but I've been reading more quicker, quickly. That's a good thing. I don't know. I'm usually just a very slow reader. I like to like process everything. But I feel like it depends on the book. Like if it's like a little rom-com easy book, like I'll probably get through it quicker. I feel like that's just, I think that's the, the norm. Anyway, we started with the final offer. I finished this one in the very beginning. It's one I think I gave 4.25. This is my favorite out of all of the Dreamland Billionaire books. I think this one was just looked more realistic. It had a lot of depth to it. So I loved this story and I loved these characters and I love Cal. There's that one. And then I read Ward D by Freda McFadden. Still think I'm going to give it 3.75. I think the story was very entertaining, very fast pace and that's just like all of her books like it was really good one of the plot twists got me but there's some iffy stuff about it and it's also just like a few things i kind of guessed so it was good i always recommend a freedom mcfadden book if you want a fast pace like thriller and you want to just like literally binge one like her books are like the perfect perfect ones for that and then i read the grace year and this one i think i gave three stars which isn't bad i don't want anyone to think when i give a book three stars it's a bad book like no it just wasn't for me it was still entertaining i still flew through it and i still thought the storyline was interesting it just wasn't one for me i would recommend it if you like books like this and storylines like this it just felt like literally a fever dream like i don't know then i read throttled and i've been a very big kindle girly recently like i want to read everything on my kindle i don't know why but thankfully this was on kindle unlimited so i did read this i give it three again wasn't bad it just wasn't my favorite romance like i feel like i've read so many romances now that like this couple like wasn't my favorite they're not like memorable i guess for me but i do want to continue the series and i want to read the rest of them i want to finish up this series one day i don't know when but i heard the last one's the best so i want to get there but yeah i enjoyed it for what it was it was entertaining i just didn't love the race car talk too much but like that's like literally what the main characters both characters their lives are surrounded by so it makes sense that was just a personal thing and then i read the scarlet princess so that's the one i finished last night i ended up giving this four stars it was from like i said a tiktok i saw and this girl really raved about it and she sold me like immediately just bought the first two like paperback because i really want them they're really pretty i'm gonna read the second one soon because i really liked the first one and i like the way it ended it was very entertaining and i'm excited to see where the story goes in the second one so that was really good really fun i wish it had dual point of view though that's the one thing i think i would say about that book is i wish it was dual point of view i feel like i think about that a lot in fantasies how i really like both main characters and i really want to see like the male guys thinking but then i'm always like usually there's something that goes on with the other side of like the male character and like you don't know too much about them and i think they keep that a secret on purpose like you don't know what they're thinking because there's always like something that goes on you know and then i started the second book in the natural series this is killer instinct i got 40 pages into this i had like 45 minutes left when i was reading this one starting this one so i only got 40 pages in but this is is, again natural series it's like a ya criminal minds type of thing it's very entertaining there's a little found family that's in here all of their personalities are really interesting like the main character is a profiler one of them can see your emotions on your face and they kind of help the fbi out there's a little love triangle in here so it's fun it's entertaining and it goes really 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 quick if you want a fast-paced series or books 100 recommend this author jennifer lynn barnes that's what i'm reading right now thank you guys so much for watching this was really fun i now know why i don't do 24-hour readathons often i literally just can't comprehend how long 24 Four hours really is but it was fun to do nonetheless i got through so many books that were on my tbr and that's like the main reason i wanted to do this because i know 24 hours like genuinely it is a long time i'm gonna get books done i didn't think i was gonna get this many books done but i'm very happy that i did it was very fun thank you guys for coming along with me i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you did let me know if you read any of these books any of your thoughts literally anything and i will see you hopefully in the next one bye